Greetings and salutations. I am Ian Jacobson, or Dinovis you prefer. Welcome back to Ace Academy, where we left off. We talked to Yuna and spent time with the family. And now is it's time to start the match. I wish my family would watch it. Hey! Hey, Yuna! I'm glad I ran into you. Does it count as running into me if you knew exactly where I would be? Yes. Hmm. Do you mind filling out this survey really quickly? Sure. Survey? What? For what? The session with Coach Ivan. Since yesterday's guest coach was a new initiative for Dashu, they like to gauge how valuable you all thought the session was. I've managed to track down everyone else, so yours is the last form I need. Okay. Thanks. No problem. I'm kind of impressed that Dashu would go the extra mile to get someone like Coach Ivan to consult for a non-professional team. That's one of the reasons I like them. I wonder how they got him to agree. Oh, it was easy. All I had to do was call. Wait, you did this? Yeah, I found his contact information online and figured it couldn't hurt to reach out. I asked his manager if this was something they'd be interested in, and luckily it was. Then I introduced the idea to Dashu, along with the proposal I put together. Okay. After that, it was just a matter of getting their approval and support with logistics. Okay. You put it all you put all of this together? It wasn't all me. But the idea was yours. Actually you helped out with some of the logistics for Dashu's events before, like the XD concert. Yeah, but it was for stuff involving the team. I wanted to make sure you guys were getting properly introduced and represented. <coughs> Yuna, you're amazing! It was nothing, really. Anyway, thanks for filling this out. Sure, I better go in. Cowdery's probably about to blow a blood vessel waiting for me. For luck. Maybe I need another. Now you absolutely can't lose. We will not. Okay, this is what the war game layouts will be. Who's calling? Oh, her again. <sighs> Never mind, ignore. As you all know, we'll be facing against Reborn, Akira's team, Mayu. Can you report on their gear composition and weaponry? Okay. Reborn is fully sponsored by Illudian Enterprises, which means they provide Reborn with the same cutting edge weaponry that they provide their professional teams. Which means they have a huge advantage over us. Each gear is kitted out for specific purposes. That means, individually, they may have weaknesses, but as a unit, they cover each other's vulnerabilities. Makes sense. Hold on. We may have actually lucked out. What do you mean? Well, you know how they're smashing everyone in terms of points? Win or lose, they're still going to be the number one seeded team. Crap! Okay. This happened last year as well. When Reborn was guaranteed the first ranked spot, they subbed in their backup pilots. Oh, so they were overconfident. Really? I didn't even notice. It's not a well-known fact because their four-man gear equipment is always the same. But if you dig into their pilot history, you'll see it. And the stats show that when they started putting in their subs, their overall performance did decline. Even if it was just a little. So, what you're saying is that we'll be fighting against their backups, since they already have a guaranteed first seed? 
Everyone but Phoenix. Akira. I already know who it is. It's obvious. Akira's gear. Only he pilots it. So it'll be bird versus bird. An eagle versus a phoenix. Hmm. We can use this in our favor. We'll press on any advantage we can get. Agreed. Okay, so we can definitely use this to our advantage. Yes. I have an idea. What if we employ the same tactic we did against Tatsuo's team? Focus down Akira. It's not the same. That won't work. Claw of the Wild's team is Tatsuo. However, every member of Reborn is going to be strong even without Akira. Exactly! True, but Akira still surpasses the rest of his team in terms of skill. Instead of focusing Akira, what if we try to pull him out and play a 3v3 against the other members? And the only one who can actually keep up with Akira is me. Who's going to handle 1v1 with Akira? Me! I can do it. We not we might not be able to beat him in a straight match, but at least I have my overdrive mode as our pocket ace again. <clears throat> and since we haven't used it since the qualifiers, they definitely won't be expecting that. Right. That's right. As Damn it! It won't be that easy, but I think this is our best chance at winning. I accidentally skipped it, and I know the problems with because the rollback function doesn't agree with me, so let's just move on from this. Remember not to immediately activate your overdrive mode when you start. Yeah, I said it just takes away my energy and only gives me a time limit. Of course. I'll be on a timer once it activates. Three minutes, so... I should use it wisely. Exactly. Let's recap then. We'll create distance between the three of us and Eagle with suppressive fire. We'll make it impossible for them to even attempt to gang up. I don't think that's their plan. He wants me one on one. He kept saying it a lot every time I talked to the guy. If they stick together, we can keep our distance and trap them in crossfire. When they start to create distance with one another, Eagle will hard engage Phoenix, and we'll do the same with our respective opponents. I don't think that's going to be an issue. He wants one-on-one. -on -one. Positioning will play a big part. We'll have to capitalize on the fact that Akira doesn't have as much team cohesion practice with the subs as he would with the regular starters. I don't think that's the issue here. He wants one-on-one. -on -one. You'll keep Akira engaged as long as you can, and we'll use the overdrive mode if it starts to look bad. Okay. That leaves the rest of us with three on three. It'll be a tough match, but we should be able to beat Reborn Substitute Pilots without Akira there. Uh -huh. What if Brosif goes down? He has a valid concern. We should have planned that out too. Depending on the battle condition, it might be worth going for the safer points if things aren't in our favor. You mean take out the weakened gears instead of going for a win? Uh -huh. I agree. That would be the best course of action. Mm-hmm. We win and gang up on Akira afterwards, otherwise we go for the safe points instead of trying for the win. Grosif fights Akira, we fight the other three. Correct. Okay, got it. We can do this! All right, my... If we try... Oh, God. She was so enthusiastic, now she's back down to being normal. She should have kept it up. Might give her the courage to keep fighting. Let's go! All right. Two undefeated teams, but only one will continue their winning streak. Yes.
Entering first is Ace Twenty Forty Nine Eleven. Need to change that. Versus the team who requires no introduction, Reborn. Ah, the underdogs versus the top team. Damn! They all look intimidating. I'm guessing the one with the red and yellow is Phoenix. Are you all ready for this legendary showdown? Yes, get on with it already. Then let's not delay this anymore. And begin! Let's go! Stick to the plan and be vocal! Roger. Got it! Okay. I knew it! He just wants me! Nice scythe! Just wanted to fight me one on one. Engage Phoenix. Slash. God damn it. Damn it. All right, let's get this. <laughs> All right, Kira. Time to face Eagle One at a hundred percent. What the hell? He has an overdrive core? Where the hell did he get it? I'll have to ask questions later. Right now I need to fight. Although, huh, I need to think this through. The overdrive mode is basically unlimited energy for a, for a limited amount of time. So I'm just gonna have, so fighting him head on stupid. I'm gonna have to wait until his core runs out of energy. Delay tactics, stick to plan. He ran out of energy. He ran out of energy. Finally. His only lasted for 45 seconds. Mine lasts for three minutes. He has his is nothing but a cheap imitation of mine, which means someone has only partial blueprints of. Oh God. Someone has. Dad's blueprints. But who? Yeah, mine's the perfect one. Akira's depowered? What? Are you serious? And I'm still powered. I can take out the others. Eh. 
No one cares about them. I'm here. We can still do this. Oh, of course, let's go. It's just Calorie versus the last guy. You can do this. You got this, Calorie. The only one left. You got this. That's right. folks we'll have to check the replay on that damn it ace 20 49 11 continues their undefeated streak yes we won but Gotta figure out how the hell Akira got an overdrive core. That leaves much to be desired. We won! We did it, Broseph! I think we can all agree that this was the best preseason match bar none. Am I right? Yes! We'll have the replays available later today. For now, I'll have to ask our contenders to leave the arena so the next match can begin. Which will not be as exciting, so people should just go home now. How the fuck did he get an overdrive core? Hey, show. You were awesome out there. Thanks. I can't believe we beat Akira and his team! We got lucky we won this time. It was a really close call. Yeah! Oh, come on, Kaori. We won against Akira! No matter how close a call it was, we still beat the number one team at Ace! Which makes us, like, what, number two? For seeded, but number one in efficiency. Because we actually beat them. That may be true. But they're still the number one seeded team. So what? We beat them. With this victory, we should at least solidify a position in the top three. Exactly. I suppose that's true, too. We're already in the top five. But isn't anyone else concerned by Akira's overdrive ability? Thank you! Yes, I've been trying to figure that out myself. As far as I know, only Dad understood that kind of technology, so how the hell did Akira get a hold of it? And technically, Dad didn't. Was He's not the only person who understood it. There is one other person, Ezra. But he's if in a he coma. About this, then he's got a lot of questions to answer. He never used it in any previous battles, so this must be a recent addition. I don't think he's the one who knows. Remember what you all said, that he's equipped with everything. Their weapons and their cores are equipped from Eludian Enterprises, which means they have something to do with the core. There is no question about that. I need to talk to him. All right, you go take care of business first, but don't forget, today you are still a winner. Yes, we won. As soon as I get all of this figured out, we're going to celebrate properly. We'll be waiting for you. I'm going to see if I can still catch up with Akira. Akira? Hey, I believe congratulations are in order. 
Thanks. It's been a long time since I've had a match that close. What a rush. That type of feeling is intoxicating, isn't it? It's the reason I want to be a professional wargamer. Makes sense. He was happy to lose. Yeah, but that's not why I'm here. What's up? You went into overdrive mode during the match. How do you do that? It kicks in automatically when I'm close to getting depowered. Like I did the first fucking time! How did he get that tech? It was an upgrade from Illudian. Is something wrong? Yeah. That was my father's design. I don't know. They didn't tell me anything specific, just that this gear was a prototype. I have the original prototype! That's just a cheap imitation! I'm not sure what's going on, but I can get you in touch with them if you I want. I should explain what's going on to Akira. That it, my father's the one who designed the core. I should tell him. He has a right to know. That's how I have mine. I got it from the source. He got his. It's a cheap copy. I'd appreciate that. Sure. Here's the number to our account manager. Maybe he'll be able to tell you. Thanks. I didn't get a chance to say this before, but with a great match back there towards the end, I wasn't sure who was going to come out victorious. Same here. Congrats again on your win. Thanks! I should get back to my team. And I to mine. Hi, I'm Ian Jacobson, one of the pilots from Ace 204911. Yes, I'm familiar with you and your team. How can I help you? I have some questions related to cores, to Akira Overdrive Core. Because apparently it's a copy of my father's. Where the hell did you get it? Unfortunately, I can't help you. I'm only involved in the team side of things. You'll have to talk to someone in the tech and engineering department. I see. Is there a person I can get in touch with? Your best bet would be to try calling a Ludian's main number and setting up an appointment. Alright, thanks. Good luck. Show got us up to speed. Thank you, Show. How long it took me to activate your overdrive mode? Alludian has got to be working with a prototype or have access to your core's blueprints. Yes. Which means they got the blueprints somehow. Or did you give it to them? No, she didn't. That's just stupid. Those are my thoughts exactly, but how did they have... How did they... How would they have gotten this... Those schematics to begin with? I didn't give it to them. Promise. I know you wouldn't. You'd be dead if you did. Not what I was implying, but still good to know. Still, that sucks, Brosif. Yeah! I'm a little surprised the account manager doesn't know that information. Why would he? That's more like CEO and the engineers would only know. This guy's just the one who helps with the budget for the team. I think for larger companies like Illudian, it makes sense. The account managers are the liaison between the sponsor and the sponsee, so that's their main focus. They make sure the team gets what was supposed to go to them, so they don't need to know how that item was acquired or developed in the first place. She's got a point, because it's a different company. Ours is a sports drink, while theirs is weapons and tech. The only time you see a lot of interdepartmental duties is when you're with smaller companies. Like ours, where it's just a sports drink. Does Dashu have a similar model as Illudian? No. Oh, yes, definitely. Especially since they sponsor more than one industry. True.
Well, I have an appointment scheduled for tomorrow. Hopefully that will be more successful. Good. It's easier to demand answers in person. Exactly. Demand? Pretty sure that's how you get kicked out of a place. That is true too. He's got to be aggressive if he wants to get any answers. Otherwise, they'll keep passing him off from one person to the next. Thank you! Something weird is going on and I intend to find out what. For now, you should try not to stress about it. How can I not? Yeah, there's not much you can do. True. You're right, I know. I think I'm gonna head home. I don't feel much like celebrating. You know what I'm gonna end things here? This was a great episode. I screwed up at that one time, but that's not my fault. In the middle of the match, I'm using my PS4 controller for this instead of the mouse, so... Well, either way, goodbye, good luck, see you next time.